Right, so my name is Joseph Silk. I am the Gresham Professor of Astronomy, and my lectures um, this year will be on what I have called the biggest questions of the universe, which include its beginning um, and its future. So, so my, my research basically has um, three different themes. There is um, the cosmic microwave background radiation, um, attempts to understand it um, in terms of the fluctuations, the nature of the fluctuations, the connection between formation of the universe, the expansion of the universe, the acceleration of the universe. All of this is buried in the microwave background and it's a challenge to extract this information. So that's the microwave background. Um, then galaxy formation, which is, um, starts off with the fluctuations, but then gets very rapidly into very complex um, physics um, of gas and turbulence and gravity and um, star formation and many things that we don't understand very well. But um, I, I, I tend to work on these things um, in an approximate way, but I work closely with students and others who do computer simulations. So that's the combination simulations plus um, simple back of the envelope calculations. And then the final topic that I work on is dark matter. Um, so I um, have been studying for many years the nature of dark matter. It's thought to be uh, some form of weakly interacting particle, very weakly interacting particle, which is predicted by a theory called supersymmetry, which predicts um, super partners, super massive particles, very known particle. All of these are totally unstable except the lightest one. And that lightest one is the candidate, our best candidate for dark matter. And there's been an enormous um, race on the Large Hadron Collider um, at CERN, at Geneva, to try to find evidence for this theory of supersymmetry and possible dark matter candidates. Nothing yet. People are very optimistic that in the next five years, when the energy of the machine will be almost doubled, um, they're hoping they will find something. But my interest in dark matter is more on the astrophysical side. It turns out these dark matter particles, they, they surround us. Um, they're, for example, um, all over the galaxy. And every now and then they run into each other and they annihilate with each other. That's a particular property they have. And they can give you a flash of gamma rays, for example, or high energy particles like that you might see in the cosmic rays. And so I spend much of my time calculating um, clever ways of looking for these signatures. Again, nothing has been found yet, but people are building bigger and bigger experiments to look for these things. 